Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a simple GUI project using NetBeans. Uh, this won't make you an expert by any means, but it will show you what's involved and perhaps give you some uh, place to start. Uh, I already have a project here. We're going to start by creating a new project, File, New Project. And uh, from the Java category, we'll choose Java Application. That may be what you get right away in, in any case. Click Next. Let's give this project a name. We'll call it, call it Celsius Converter Project. We can leave this box checked. But we don't want to create a main class right now, so make sure that this checkbox is unchecked and click Finish. And we've created our project. Since this is a GUI project, we have to start by creating a form to put everything on. And we do this by right-clicking on the project here. Click New, JFrame Form. Now we have to give the GUI form a name, so we will call it Celsius Converter GUI. These things like to be in packages, so we'll give it a package name of Learn rather than taking the default. And now we can click Finish. And there's the form we'll be building on. Let's rearrange things so that we can see it a little better. Now we can just start dragging and dropping components. Um, we have a component palette up here. The first thing we'll take is a text box, or rather a text field. Drag it over here. Um, as we drag things, you see little clues pop up as to how to put things. So we will tuck it in the top corner here and use the guide bars to leave it there. Next thing we'll do is take a label field whoops, and snuggle it up next to the text box. Next thing we'll do is take a button and put it underneath here. And then another label for the button, which we'll put right next to it. Now as we do this, we see that we can toggle back and forth between the source view and the design view. If we go to the source view, we can see that NetBeans has already been writing code for us. And uh, don't touch this code just yet. Just wanted you to see that it's here. So let's go back to design. Now down here, we find the component inspector. We have a couple of tabs here that we can switch. We want the inspector. We're going to start with the J-frame. And let's make some room over here. And we can give the frame a title. And we'll call it Celsius Converter. And that is what will appear on our mainframe when we run the program. Now let's work on our components. Um, this is the text field in which we'll enter the initial temperature. So we'll just clear that out. And if we click a second time, we've selected that default text. And we'll just clear it with the delete button. Now our label here, if that collapses, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Now we've highlighted the text, and we'll just type Celsius. Now let's change the text on the button. Click it once, twice, and we'll call this Convert. Hit return, we're done. And then finally the label next to the button. Click once, click tw 
twice, and we'll just call this Fahrenheit. Return, and we're done with that step. Next, we'd like to line things up a little, and we have some uh, automation to help us do that. We'll select the text field up here, and now if we shift-click, we can select the two components at once. They're outlined in orangish-brown. Now we right-click to get the context menu, go to same size, make them the same width and that lines them up nicely. And then finally, uh, our application is fr frame is much bigger than we need, so we can just resize it like this. We will make it too tight. That's about right. Next, let's give these components some better names for our code. We'll uh, go over here to the text field and call this temp text field, enter. This one we'll call the Celsius label. Okay, this one we'll call the convert button. And this one we'll call the Fahrenheit. Whoops, I missed that one. How did that happen? Let's try that again. Celsius label. And finally the Fahrenheit label. Now we have to create an invent listener for our button, so that's something will happen when we push it, and it turns out to be pretty easy to do. We just click on the button, uh, make sure the button is the only thing selected, and then right click, events, action, action performed. And immediately we're taken to the chunk of code that's produced, and this is where we have to put the code that runs when the button is pressed. Now, I don't want to get into coding here, so I'm just going to cut and paste the code that is given to you in the exercise web page. And there it is. That uh, takes the text from the box, converts it to a double, and then uh, changes it uh, to Fahrenheit and uh, rewrites the Fahrenheit label. Notice there's a lot of code here, uh, most of which is collapsed. There's a whole bunch of generated code here, which you can see by opening up this collapsed area. So just leave it alone. Just trust it for now. You can look at it in more detail later. Okay, let's run the program now. We can do that either by the Run menu or just by clicking on this green arrow up here. Since we haven't chosen a main class yet, we do it at this time. We only have one choice, and that's fine. So we click OK. And the app has popped up in the corner of my screen here. I'll just drag it over here so you can see it. And uh, we all know that 0 degrees Celsius is 32 Fahrenheit, so let's type that in, 0, and click Convert and see if it works. And by golly, it does. We get 32 Fahrenheit. So uh, dig in, get comfortable with this, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it.